In addition to some amazing toenail cleaning, in today's video you're going to learn how to recover toenails from trauma. You won't believe the results in just three months. So, Best has been rubbing against your, squishing yourself in your shoe. That's new. That wasn't there last time. Did you know when your nails get wet that they retain water like a sponge? And if you have on tight shoes, your nail can get squeezed like a pincer nail and the nail can stay in that shape. And if the water evaporates out of the nail while in those tight shoes, it will squeeze the skin underneath that toenail. And he's been doing a lot of work in his yard preparing for a wedding and the pinky nail has squeezed the skin under this nail. And I have to be careful not to cut the skin while I trim the nails. And if you look at the next toenail, it even has some of the dirt stuck under an old blister. So his shoes probably got wet while he was working in the yard. His feet were rubbing and the water caused a blister and the dirt got embedded. So I have a lot of work to do today. And I am going to just keep in the really good parts, but first I have to tell you how his toes ended up in this situation. I know many of you like to skip ahead to the big toes, but I have to tell you how his toes ended up like this. So he's been recovering from a knee procedure that didn't go well. He was only able to take a step that was maybe four inches long. I mean, he had to shuffle. It was like, ch -ch 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 -ch. it was so cute watching him come into the salon and he was dedicated to because he was not going to use wow. a cane or a walker or anything. So he would come into the salon. He would only be able to take steps that were four inches and the pressure from trying to walk and stopping abruptly was pushing his toes into the end of his shoes. And after months and months and months, they told him his problem was his hip, not his knee. And even after physical therapy, the pain in the knee didn't improve. So he had the hip done. He had physical therapy. He lost several toenails over the course of the year. But then after oh, I suggested that he just get a shoe with a bigger toe box until he was able to take a bigger step, his toenails started to improve and little by little his stride has too. So he's doing much better now. He's not back to normal yet, but he is doing much, much better. Oh, wow. I entered a picture of my oldest son when he was a baby into the beautiful baby contest and he won for place. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah. Where, where was this contest? At the Celine Fair. Oh, really? Yeah. Eight years. This is some time ago. Right? Oh, it was 17 years ago because he just turned 18. It's coming up pretty soon. Is it next weekend? I think so. It is safe to trim off any thick skin that is turned white from soaking in the foot bath. Just trim down to the surface of the pink skin. Yay. As damaged nails grow up right, the nail so bed, they change down. shape. And you'll really see how much they can change shape when you see the before and afters of the big toe on the other foot. That's why it's very important to only smooth the surface and not to remove density of the nail plate. Yes, I got my patent! July 30th. I'll show it to you. It's out on my desk. It's the first patented ergonomic manicuring support for nail technicians. Does one sell this tool then? Yes, I've already had it manufactured and selling it. It's going well. Everything goes online. It's also online. 
And at trade shows, and by distributors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when we were making the decisions and having the discussion with Bruce about everything. And of course, the devil's advocate. Do you know how much this costs? And I said, I don't care how much it costs. If I only help one other person, I have to not suffer like I have with my surgeries and repetitive use injuries, I'll, I'll be happy. And I get emails every single day thanking me, saying I saved their life, this has solved all their problems. So I'm, ha I'm happy. Thanks. It is. I'm gonna let that soak again before I go with those cuticles. Here's that blister. I can tell from the texture of the skin and that the fact it's acting like a storage facility <laughs> that it has healed over on the inside and I can remove the outer blister to prevent more debris from getting stuck underneath there. Then I can remove what is under the nail. Got a grass stained blister. Well, anyway, when I walk around my shoes off, I know it's tough for people to see them. I actually do work out in the yard. So do you think it was from all of that rain that we had at the beginning of the season? Well, that's what drove it up this year, yeah. But, but they're saying climate change is oh. likely to continue. Strange. And it, 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 it results in water levels being high for some period and then... That's low. why you need a blackberry bush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big like ras, they're bi they're shaped like raspberries, except they're bigger, and the color of them is black, and they are. Um, they are them? No. But they are more delicious. What's that? They're more delicious. The raspberries. Did you plant these things? Mm -hmm. I can give you some cuttings. I don't need any more stuff. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I, I, I had a raspberry patch for a number of years and eventually it just gave up. Yeah, raspberries are, are tough. You have to have more than one so they cross pollinate. Yeah. I had a friend who had a big patch and then she might hear what happened to him, but some, some sort of disease came through with a cold dog on the animal. You know, I love hearing 
everything you all have to say. It helps me so much to know if I'm on the right track creating content for you. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I want to play a new game today besides leaving me a comment here on the video for your chance to win one of my brand of tools. I want you to take a screenshot of the part of the video you liked best and make a post on your social media and tag me and tell me what you would have named the title of the video and be sure to grab my channel URL from the browser so your friends can let you know if they like your title better than mine. I, I can't tell you the name of the place. It's it's beyond, I don't know if you're familiar with the area up there, it's beyond the intersection with Wampers a little bit. It's a little mm -hmm. bit further toward uh, MIS than that. Uh, matter of fact, it's past MIS. Yeah, it's just past it. This bit kit went over so well at the trade show last month, I have decided to have an online special as well. This is a huge savings with all of my favorite must-have bits. You've seen them all in action in my latest videos. My bits are professional grade quality bits that will last a long, long time when cared for properly. And when you buy the kit, you get a free bit case to store them in as well. He, he actually takes his brother's, still at 80 years old, takes his pickup, hauls his brother's tractor down to downtown Detroit to help knock down abandoned homes down there. Oh, oh, yeah. So he was, we were thinking of having him come to our Master Gardener meeting and share his experience there. He, he, they've knocked down enough of them that they have... Coming up are the before and after pictures from the last three months. You're not going to believe the difference in progress his feet have made in such a short period of time. You can find all of the links in the description to my online store, and I hope you make it over there to pick up a few new tools to take care of your feet or your clients yep. today. Yep. Does it stay off in the summer? Or is it yeah, he just keeps it off in the summer. He drives his Lincoln when it's going to rain, and he drives the Jeep when it's sunny.
for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.